welcome to Big Life Mindset, best life hacks and strategies so you love life more. My name is Eddie Rakanui, and this podcast is in the top 10% most shared worldwide on Spotify. I'm a leadership coach, and my client base include executives, business owners, entrepreneurs, and even winners of the Westpac Bank Innovation Awards. My coaching provides clarity of purpose, prevents burnout, and supports your mental health. This podcast, my coaching, my businesses, and every facet of my life, in fact, are all contributing towards my vision. My vision is to be a global phenom in helping people to love life more. Today's episode is one from our five-minute coaching series. You'll hear from a collection of international business and life coaches, each with their unique take on the problems you face and how to solve them. The format is simple. In their five-minute segment, each coach will introduce themselves, a bit about their coaching offering and how to reach them. But most importantly, they're going to use the bulk of that five minutes to share a problem statement and the solutions. That's right, folks. It's free coaching advice simplified. The order of coaches speaking is chosen at random, and I have no affiliation to them or their businesses. This series is all about sharing some of their value with you in the hope that you pick up one solution to help you live a life you love so you love life more. You're going to hear a short drum sequence at the end of each coach's segment, so stick around and make sure you can get as much of this free coaching advice as you can. Also, a shout out to our partners at Cerberus Strength. You can check out Cerberus Strength at cerberus-strength.co.nz for their latest merchandise and elite sports equipment. Finally, if you're considering investing in yourself or you want your company to support you with professional development, then you can email biglifemindset at gmail.com. That's biglifemindset at gmail.com. And in the subject header, write coffee chat. One of our team will pick that up and we look forward to catching up with you soon. Awesome. Thanks so much, everybody. Can't wait to share some of this value add with you and I look forward to hearing from you. Okay. Bye for now. Awesome. And so our next special guest coach is John Papaloni. John, thanks for joining us on the show. Would you like to share a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. My name is John Papaloni. I am a serial entrepreneur and uh, my current uh, business is Papaloni Capital as well as Papaloni Media. The uh, main cap, Papaloni Capital, I think is self-explanatory. It's in the real estate industry. I help with investors build generational wealth and Papaloni Media has to do with media, online media and uh, coaching services as well. So um, that's pretty much who I am. I've been in, in self-employed since I was 15 years old and I've had multiple business. I've had eight figure businesses. I've sold them. I've closed a few over time, you know, due to other circumstances. And you know what? Part of entrepreneurship is the up and down and uh, learning from everything. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. So you've identified a problem and practical solutions that people can use to solving that problem. What does that look like? Well, a lot of times I find that the biggest thing people have, like the biggest problem is we always second or guess ourselves, and we always, you know, we allow like, I don't know, some people call it imposter syndrome or find reasons we can't do something. We know what the right solutions are. We just don't want to do it. Like I'm going to use video as an example. Right now, social media is the biggest marketing channel we have. Yet people want to put pictures, slogans, memes from other people. They don't want to put themselves on camera. And the reason is, what will people think? And, you know, oh, you know, who am I? I'm not an expert. And reality is, or what if it looks bad? Now, a lot of times what ends up happening is the easiest way to get started is to just get started. Right. And, and, the, and the solution is simple. You don't like people just tend to find faults with looking at themselves. So here's a solution. Cover the camera. Don't look at yourself. Sorry. Cover your screen. Don't look at yourself. Record the camera and just go and post it live do it live don't do it recording uh, recorded at the beginning because this way you don't have a chance to edit or change it or change your mind just live do your 30 second skit and and do that a few days in a row eventually you'll get used to just pushing the record then you'll get to the point where you'll be able to record it edit it and post it and the key thing is consistency without excuses you can also come up with something in advance you don't have to do it just 
push the button and think about it. What you do is you come up with it and do a batch on a Sunday of topics you want to talk about and then do one per day. And that's really pretty much all you have to do. Five topics, come up with it on a Sunday, start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, do it first thing in the morning before you get started with your day so this way it's off your plate and you don't have any panics about it you get it set it forget it move on and the next thing you know you get comfortable and you keep on doing it and it becomes a pattern and you will feel great once people start recognizing you when you're at the grocery stores or at the coffee shop which is already what's happening with me after three years of doing this Nice. I really like that practical point about covering the screen. So not actually looking at yourself because that can become a distraction. Um, So John, did you have a a book or a coaching offering that you'd like to share with our audience? Actually, I just like to provide value. I don't uh, have any particular offer that is uh, like a sales pitch or anything, but If somebody wants to reach out to me and get more tips on uh, video recording or podcasting or anything like that, you can reach out to me and I will be happy to help you and even set up a 30 minute, uh, you know, coaching session or uh, interview, not interview, but like a preliminary conversation and uh, see what you're struggling with. Awesome. And how can people reach you? Well, you can reach me very simply at on through Instagram at Instagram.com slash John Papaloni. That's J-O-H-N-P-A-P-A-L-O-N-I. Or go to my website at uh, usepapalonicapital.com. It'll forward to my other one, and it'll have my contact information there as well. Awesome. That's P-A-P-A-L-O-N-I, folks. Thank you so much, John, for joining us and sharing that valuable insight. Really appreciate you taking the time. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh. Excellent. So our next special guest coach is Elizabeth King. Thank you so much for joining us, Elizabeth. Would you like to share a little bit about yourself? Thank you so much for having me. Sure. I have been a certified ICF life coach since 2008. I am a certified fertility health coach and a certified bereavement doula, which helps people who are going through loss like miscarriage, etc. Wow, that sounds really deep and obviously quite important. Uh, Now, you've identified some problems that people can experience and practical solutions to solving those. What does that look like? So in the world that I live in, in fertility, we see the biggest issue right now is that people are just uneducated around fertility in general. We are not taught in school much about it, men or women for that matter. And so people operate in their day-to-day lives once they get married and on to that age of assuming that they can get pregnant anytime they have intercourse. And unfortunately, that is not the case for most people and really if you're having issues. Now, worldwide, we are one in six that are having issues with fertility. We now know also that one third is men, male factor in fertility, one third is women, one third is both or unknown. So traditionally, we always kind of put it on the woman. We assume that that's where it falls. I'm a mom of three boys, so very concerned with the male side of things as well. And I think just recognizing that both the men and women need to take care of their bodies in all kinds of ways. But an easy way to start is to be aware of their diet, exercise, and mental health and how that affects our fertility. We hear those things all the time in all different ways, but really there is a direct correlation with fertility. So alcohol, drinking, um, smoking, et cetera, affects sperm and egg health equally. Yeah, that's really practical advice too. Just focusing on those three key things will make a massive amount of difference. So thank you for sharing uh, that. Now, did you have a coaching program or a book or an offering that you'd like to share with our audience? Yeah. So if you're looking to be coached and trying to conceive, we have one-on-one coaching for anybody who is interested. A lot of people still don't really know what fertility coaching is. It's like when I became a life coach in 2008, it wasn't really a thing. And that's similar to fertility coaching right now. And what that is, is helping you to navigate the process, helping you to regulate your nervous system and your cortisol levels on your path to pregnancy and help you to figure out, are you with the right doctor? Do you need to be going somewhere else? 
else, et cetera, and really just have that person to hold your hand through the journey. Now, if you've already been through that journey or maybe pregnancy and getting pregnant was easy for you and you want to find a niche for coaching yourself, we also certify fertility coaches as well. So it's a great way to have a flexible career. There's nothing better than seeing that positive pregnancy test of your clients and really making a difference in a world where people traditionally have not been talking about fertility and miscarriage loss and now showing up in a way that this is going on and it's not going anywhere. So the need is so there for fertility coaches and we would love to have you. So we have both programs there. Awesome. And how can people contact you? At our website, elizabethking.com, at the fertility coach academy.com, we have a podcast, The Creation Innovation, as well as on Instagram, the official Elizabeth King. That's fabulous. So you've got a lot of touch points available. So just a reminder that's elizabethking.com is one of those first ones. Make sure you get in touch and go forward from there. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for joining us. I really do appreciate you taking the time. Thanks for having me. So our next guest is Renee Varanyotis. Really appreciate you taking the time, Renee. Would you like to share a little bit about yourself? Sure. Hi, Eddie. Thank you for having me on here. I am by trade a speech language pathologist, and um, but my passion and purpose project began a couple years ago. I started a company during the pandemic called the Cape Movement. It's children and parents empowered, and it's we call it a movement because it's a movement towards, um, you know, raising awareness um, and, and mindset practices. We developed programs called Mindset Method University, and I'm so excited to share it with your your guests here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. So you've identified a problem and practical solutions to solving that. What does that look like? So pretty much the mental health crisis, and I know in my country is, is you know, it, it's alarming. The statistics are alarming. Um, our kids and our children, our teens um, also. And what is going on is there's they're lacking confidence. They are, you know, they're not, they don't know who they are. They have a poor self image and it's reflective in the stats, right? So we've come up with a whole lesson on, on, self image, which is something we do not learn in schools and we should be. Um, And it's a tool called admiration is inspiration. So really, you know, growing up, sometimes we feel like we we compare ourselves to our peers. Um, You know, if we admire someone, we feel jealous of them or, you know, so on and so forth growing up. Um, But when we really think about what it is about someone else that we like it it always it always means that you have it within you too. It just needs to come to you know it needs to be grown and, and nurtured. So um, the tool I I suggest is you know thinking of three to five people that you admire. They could be living, they could be not living, they could be fat or anyone in the world you admire, and you write their names down. And then you list five characteristics of them that you really admire. Maybe they're generous, maybe they're kind, maybe they, um, they're they social, they're fun. Um, and once you write those, those characteristics down, you then understand what it is about that human that you really admire. And you also then realize that you have that within yourself as well. And we can nourish this and let it grow, right? Um, and we can embody that. So then what you can do is if anyone's heard of affirmations, you can turn it into your an affirmation. So if you like some, if you say so-and-so is, you know, really, I don't know, fun, then you take the word fun and put I am in front of it. And you say, I am fun. And you make it part of your daily routine of saying affirmations to yourself. Nice. I'm a massive fan of that practical advice, by the way. And I really like the fact that you called out, you know, look for three to five people that you admire for whatever reason, what are the characteristics and slot that in as affirmations for yourself. That's fabulous advice. Uh, Renee, did you have a, a book or an offering that you'd like to share with our audience? Yes, I would love. I mean, you can visit capemovement.com. Um, we need to update our website. So what I really love to do, I mean, you can get an overall picture of what we're about, Um, but things have evolved since we developed our our website. Um, So I really would love people to visit and join our Facebook group. It's at Mindset Method University, 
And we also um, are starting a paid group where there'll be live coaching and applicable and practical um, tools to, you know, really develop and yourself and, and your mindset and your kids' mindset. Um, what our goal is, is to build a community of really supportive humans that all are on the same page with, you know, personal development. And, um, you know, we provide a lot of great content. Awesome. Support of humans. I love that. Uh, and so how can people get in touch with you? I would say Instagram at Renee double underscore V, V-E-E. -E. So it's R-E-N-E-E -E, double underscore V-E-E. -E. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you for sharing some of your insights as well and that practical advice. Really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. Excellent. So our next special guest is Daniel Tolson. Thank you so much for joining us, Daniel. Uh, would you like to share a little bit about yourself? G'day, Eddie. Uh, well, it was uh, back in 2010 when I received a telephone call from my duty manager and they said, uh, Daniel, there's been an accident on an aircraft. We need you to come down to the Landside Hospital. And when I got down to the Landside Hospital, I'd realised that my fiance had been in an aircraft accident. And I knew at that time that our life was going to change forever. So after two and a half years of bringing her back through reconstructive surgeries, uh, she lost her job, I resigned, and I jumped straight into the business world. And I got the shock of my life. <laughs> so I used to have dark brown hair, now I've got white brown hair. <laughs> oh, this is God here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so the business world uh, was an exciting transition for me. And uh, like a lot of people who are joining us today, I'm sure that they've got a lot of fears. And over the years, I've had to face a lot of those fears to get where I am today. Awesome. Congrats on that as well. So you've identified a problem and practical solutions that people can use to addressing that. What does that look like? What I've learned is through business is 80% of businesses have high turnover because of hiring the wrong people. And it's because they have the wrong systems. And then what happens with the business people, they make the wrong hire and then they're afraid to fire. And they get stuck in this loop of having the wrong people. They're trying to scale, they're trying to grow, but they can't do it because of the people. And they're told this bullshit story over and over again that people are your greatest asset. Well, in reality, the wrong people are not an asset to the business. It's only the right people who are an asset. So over the years, we've learned to remove the bias from the hiring process, to reduce the risk, and also to be able to get results in seconds so the business owner knows who they're getting before they walk in the door. Nice, nice. And what's something that they can do to, to kind of preempt that so they don't go down that road? <laughs> I think every single business owner knows within their heart that you've got to hire slow and fire fast. But in business, we tend to hire to solve a problem. Somebody walks out the door, they become incapacitated, and we throw and we feel that if we just throw another human at the problem, it'll solve it. But what we've got to do is we're going to be able to think through the job. We're going to be able to think of what superior performance looks like and then to create a benchmark around that. Once we have the benchmark, we've got a target that we can see. And so then we can go to market and remove our personal bias. We've got to get the emotion out of the way. We've got to get our affinity biases out of the way. And we've got to use logic in the hiring process. And if we do that and we combine it with critical thinking, which I know you talk a lot about, and if we engage scientific methods, then we can reduce that risk by about 93% and get the right person the first time. That's astronomical. That is amazing. Hey, thank you so much for sharing that, Daniel. I really appreciate that. Uh, so what's some, uh, uh, you mentioned that you might have a YouTube channel. I'm really interested to hear it. What's the name of your YouTube channel? What's the handle? Come and join me at Daniel Tolson. Cool. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-T-O-L-S-O-N. Yes. Awesome. I'm already ready. I'm looking forward to subscribing. As soon as I hang this up, this is the first thing I'm going to do. Hey, I love the practical advice. Really useful. Nice insights there as well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super keen to catch up more and discuss that. Thank you so much, Daniel, for joining us. Thanks for being here, Eddie. <laughs> 
Awesome. So our next special guest is Rebecca Molman. Thank you so much for joining us, Rebecca. Would you like to share a little bit about yourself? Yes, absolutely. So I'm a trauma therapist and a human potential therapist here in Alaska, actually. And I specialize working with first responders and special forces, as well as sexual assault uh, survivors. And I've taken everything from my practice and put it into a coaching world, as well as my podcast primarily. So the podcast you can find at the reframe where fear is brave, but really what I'm trying to do is take everything from the couch to more of a conversation and be able to reach more people in that, that way. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now you've identified a problem and some solutions towards that. What does that look like? Yeah, absolutely, Eddie. So as a trauma therapist and a coach, I see people struggling with their ability to navigate big emotional or challenging emotional experiences mm -hmm. all the time. A big component of this is the personal bandwidth or how much emotional content that you can digest in any given moment. This is also known as your window of tolerance. And it's your ability or to move through the day more confidently, knowing that you can stay emotionally regulated, mentally clear and collected, as well as physically grounded. Being somebody in my profession that approaches mental, physical, and emotional well-being with a physiology of first approach, I'm going to share with you a very powerful technique that will increase that threshold for navigating challenging emotional content as well as situations. First, very briefly, I want to sh share with you a case study of a female athlete who trained in high intensity throughout the week. She also struggled from anxiety and panic attacks. She was also medicated for this. And after one month of doing this technique that you're about to learn, she was able to, with doctor's guidance, come off the medication and no longer had anxiety and panic attacks. Mm. So I'm really excited to share this with you. And it's called CO2 tolerance training. Have you heard of this, Eddie? No, no, please uh, enlighten me. So CO2 tolerance training is something that you can train every single day on. You want to take your baseline at the same time every day. So if you're going to do it in the morning, do it in the morning. It's going to be different after lunch or if you just come back from the gym. Okay. So it's going to fluctuate through the day. So just a reminder, take your baseline at the same time every day. So the protocol is that you take three normal breaths in and out, right? Not extended, not exaggerated. Then you take one more deep breath, feeling your lungs all the way, top lobes or lobes, lo or lower lobes all the way up. And as slow as humanly possible, extend your exhale out. Once you start that extension, you start the timer all the way out. Once you can't breathe out anymore, you stop the timer and that is your score. We're gonna go over scores in just a second. But just as a note, if you swallow or if obviously if you breathe, you wanna restart that time, okay? Now your score, if you're under 20 seconds, you want your, uh, if you're under 20 seconds, you wanna work on that CO2 score. You wanna see practice it throughout the day and extend your exhale longer. If you're 20 to 40 seconds, you're about average. 40 to 60 seconds, you are pretty darn good. If you're an overachiever, you want to go above the 60 second mark. And remember, this is a training tool. And for best results, it is really important to track it every single day at the same time. And then also practice throughout your day to increase the lengths of your exhales. This will bring you greater emotional regulation, clarity of thought, and emotional grounding. And just as a side note, very last note on that case study, her score was only seven after a month, which is well under the recommended amount. After one month, she was able to extend it to 14, still with below the recommended amount. However, she was able to see massive benefits. So I really hope that you're able to find the same. Awesome. That's so practical. I, yeah. I feel myself doing it straight away, by the way. I couldn't help but like breathe in and do the exhale, knowing how much it's going to calm my, calm my nervous system. So thanks for sharing that, Rebecca. Um, now, you mentioned a podcast. What was the podcast name again? Yeah, you bet. 
So it's called the reframe where fear is brave. And we really dive into a lot of these tools and techniques that I work with my clients in therapy, as well as my clients in coaching to serve um, a larger population. Because what I've learned is that a lot of people just don't know these school, these tools and techniques. Awesome. And finally, how can people get in touch with you? Absolutely. So you can find me at www.thereframe.net and you can always email me at support at thereframe.net or I'm also on Facebook at Rebecca Molman. Fabulous. The, uh, the reframe, the reframe. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Rebecca. I really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, absolutely. A pleasure. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you again for joining me on this episode of Big Life Mindset. Once again, if you're looking for leadership coaching and you want to move your business from where it is into where you want it to be, or you're looking at coaching as an individual and you're looking at setting higher goals and achieving those while reducing burnout, stress, and overwhelm, then please contact me. You can find a link in the show notes or you can contact me directly on Big Life Mindset at gmail.com that's big life mindset at gmail.com simply put coffee chat in the subject header and we can pick it up from there all right thanks again and we'll catch up soon bye for now